This is Math 142. We are doing Section 7.5, just the Part 2 to it. And uh, the homework for this is pretty light, but that's all right. This is good practice. These are really good ideas. We're just going to keep solving these trig equations. So same thing we've been working on. Notice in the first one, I have these two things multiplied together that give me zero. And this is like when we factor quadratic, right? We get two things multiplied to get that equals zero. So I'm going to do is I'm going to say that means that either this equals zero or this must equal zero. So now I have two different cases that I can get answers off of. So I go to solve this this first one here on the left. Uh, I could subtract one from both sides. Then divide by two. And let's see, sine theta equals negative one half. So for me, that is just something I can look up on my um, unit circle, or I just know it. You know, both those cases. Uh, it's a height. So this would be 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. So this part gives me these two. And if I could keep solving over here, add one to both sides, cosine theta equals 1. And that happens at a zero, you know, that's the extreme width in this way. So theta equals zero. So technically you're supposed to write them in ascending order. I wouldn't mark you down on a test if you didn't do that. But here we go. These are my values that solve that equation. And if I wanted to, if I wasn't sure about it, I could plug those into my calculator and, you know, plug in a zero and put this in here and make sure that that equals zero. All right, let's do this next one, same idea. So I have stuff all over the place. I have things on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side. I'm gonna move everything so it's on the right-hand side. So I think first thing I'll do is, is add negative two sine squared to both sides. I'm sorry, just add two sine squared to both sides. And that's going to be plus a sine theta plus a one and that's equal to two i'll keep going to get this thing equal to zero subtract two from both sides so now i have something or have a sine squared, I also have a sine in it. Now this is not a quadratic, but it is in a quadratic form. Notice I have something squared plus the something. So you could factor it straight from here, or you could do a substitution. You could say just uh, let x equal sine theta. That means that x squared would equal sine squared theta. And I could substitute those in. So this would be two sine squared is x squared, x squared plus sine is x minus one equals zero i know how to solve that i could run it through the quadratic formula or i could factor it so that would mean that uh 2x minus one equals zero or x plus one equals zero so add one to on, on this first one add one divide by two and this one subtract one but I'm not looking for x, I'm looking for theta. So now I can substitute back in. I know that x is sine theta. And then again, this is just a uh, some benchmark ratio. So I could use unit circle, or I already know the answers. The two heights uh, that give me 1 half are pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. And when sine is at uh, negative 1, that means it has a height of negative 1. It's all the way down at 3 pi over 2. And there's my answer. What some people do is straight from here, they just factor that. And they don't even worry about doing the substitution. They just say see that x is just sine squared. So they would factor it to something like uh, 2 times sine x minus 1 times sine x plus 1 equals zero, and then they, you still get the same answers. They just jump the substitution part.
Just one more problem for these. We'll solve this. Uh, 4 sine squared theta minus 3 equals 0. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, add 3 to both sides. And then since this is 4 times sine squared, I'll divide by the 4. And now that's squared, so I'm going to square root both sides. And remember when I square root both sides, a plus or minus comes in with it. Plus or minus, square root of 3 is square root of 3, square root of 4 is 2. That's convenient. So sine theta is um, all of these, uh, plus or minus root 3 over 2. And let's see what those would be. I could look on my, uh, my unit circle, or I could just know them. Now, I didn't do it on the last equations, but technically I should have been writing this uh, plus 2k pi for all of these because I did not say bounded in 0 to 2 pi. All right, so you're going to be practicing some, uh, there's not too many problems. You're going to be doing some factoring and solving things that have uh, squares in them. Post questions in the forum or message me with any questions you have.